chaps. <clears throat> we've had our project cast for a while. It's about time we've got some new ones, I think. There's three movie <clears throat> prizes in here, and there's some money prizes in my special Nürburgring <clears throat> hat. Who's going to go first and draw okay. it? Oh, <laughs> go on, that's <laughs> straight in, go on. Okay, what have you got, Sam? Oh. Well, I'm walking. <laughs> how far is your How far is your commute again? It's uh, about three hours. <laughs> go on, then. Go on, let's see what we got. Take your chances. Fifteen hundred. Oh, no, this isn't good. Oh, you better have a go. Go on, Ian. Go on, Ian. Yeah. Go on, Ian. Yeah. Go on, Ian. 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 Go Fantastic! <laughs> this is what I need. Maybe, that's, maybe that means Persia. It's yeah, the worst yeah, yeah, yeah. rap in yeah. history. Yeah, Mr. Ruggles dive in. Uh, Ooh! That was great. Well, that was great. I'm going to go for the light yellow, because light yellow is the best colour, obviously. Is it? It is indeed. Just look at my car for evidence of that. Oh, oh it's the 750! Oh, By the process of elimination, I rather suspect. That you're not getting anything. <laughs> it's walking boots. Right. He's rather had a bike, but I'll tell you what, I'll do you really got one? I'll have a gesture. I'll have a bike. You're the bike. Give me the other boot. I can do something with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, before you all jump online, yeah. 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 let's start searching for that elusive. 04 plate PT Cruiser convertible that I know you all want. There are some rules. The car's got to be more than 20 years old, so it's got to be registered 2000 or earlier. It's got to have an MOT for three months. So that does narrow it down a little bit, especially for the 750 quid. So you may remember Paul ended up with the uh, bicycle card, but he said he's got a classic of his own to turn up with, actually. Well, I won the bicycle option, didn't I? So here I am. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 1986 Peugeot Premier. What about that, eh? Some hasty spending later, I was the first to arrive. Did I just see a puff of black smoke? Oh, Lord. Oh. Is this a rally? <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no, maybe not. Oh, it's a junior. Oh, but Gentleman. Oh, it's got racing stripes, so... Yeah. Yeah. Behold. I think he painted them freehand there a bit, wasn't he? <laughs> a 1993 Peugeot 205, iconic, 1.8D, junior. How many J-Reg cars do you know that were registered in 1993, Joe? <laughs> it, it, well, ignore that. The wheels are in what's best described as a state of crust. However, there's a good reason for that, because this particular car is not in its first flush of youth. It makes some other clattering noises, doesn't it, Joe? <laughs> it does. Now, they I did that when they were new, Aaron. It's a Peugeot. <laughs> It's quite tidy though. What'd you pay for this? 400 quid. And another 400 for the indicator lens that you can't buy anymore. <laughs> nah, I already have spoke to a man who can do me a brand new one for seven pounds. It's cheap, it's cheerful, and so am I in this instance because- I dispute the cheerful. Here's the other thing. Despite being in rather good condition, this car has done 201,000 miles. Imagine doing that many miles without listening to the radio. Because it's yeah. a junior, it's a very basic spec. So but then no... they put a tow hitch on it. <laughs> yes. No no washer, no wiper. We do have a tow hitch for towing caravans or something similar. I would unlock the door, but the catch is broken. Under this layer of grime beats a heart of magnificence. This is a gem in a haystack, this is. How noisy is the heater fan? The heater fan on anything other than no blow at all squeaks on right-hand turns. Um, because the bearing's gone, so the fan moves over. They all do that, apparently, but here's the thing. What, most of what's wrong with it is simple stuff. It's a missing indicator, which is simple. It's a missing parcel shelf, which is simple. It's a There's broken radio. There's some rust radio. on the real arch. Oh, that gear knob, good God. Do you know what, though? I reckon wax and white steels on this and some of those stripes on the grill. And a GTI engine. 350 quid left in the budget, and that is all gonna go on turning this into the gem it deserves to be. <sighs> Sweet as a nut. Oh, that's refinement. Is that red line? <laughs> yeah, that's the red line. Sweet as a nut. It's got a bit of a Massey Ferguson sort yeah. of feel to it, hasn't it? Go on then, let's all hop in. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Uh, you be careful, Weather. I'll give them a minute. Sometimes it's best to let them explore in isolation. This is flat out. Fair play, 201,000. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a survivor, isn't it? That's for sure. This is hilarious. <laughs> This is a real... Uh... He's not going to stop it. Oh, mate. He knows you're not, he not going to not gonna get there in time. That's the thing. <laughs> he knows you're in a naff to <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, I'm going to fall out the window. Stop. Hey. 400 quid. 400 quid. I think he's done well. Having returned the magnificent Peugeot, Jeff then went off to show us what he'd bought with his thousand quid.
He thinks it is still 1997, doesn't he? Yeah. Behold, gentlemen. You got a Fiesta? Hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, they could be, some Puma. Puma? Are they? Yeah, I went on the press launch of this. Nose to tail convoy on the Autobahn, 125 miles an hour. Photographer sat with me, he goes, Jesus, is this based on a Fiesta? Hey, if you're in any doubt that it's based on a Fiesta, you've only got to look in the rear arches. That's when you know it's based on a Fiesta. Yeah, you want to look at that side, Joe. Yeah, just keep, keep looking on that side. Yeah, look, keep, keep looking at that no, you don't side. need to look at this side. There's the start of it, there's the start. Don't push it. Don't I won't lean on it too hard, that'll ruin it. So, Jeff, you're just, um, you're only driving in daylight then, yeah? Yeah. Driving in daylight yeah, hours only. <laughs> daylight MOT. As you know, I had the second smallest budget. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Don't do that. I had the second smallest budget, and I think for a thousand pounds, this is a damn good car. 68,000 miles. Okay, that is impressive. All service history, two owners. 1700, and it's an early yeah? One. Must be a 1700. Oh, it is a 1700. Yeah. Yamaha. Engine. The one That's not four. bad for a thousand quid. Still has the Puma mats. You, you know, yeah, sit a bit close, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm quite small, sorry. Uh, original hands free kit, check that out. Nice. It's, I don't know what phone that would work with or whether it'll ever work again. Oh, yeah, okay, there's a loose. Door card. Is this the package that arrived this morning? Yes. The clips, yeah? Yeah, there's, the there's clips already that. Ford parts I don't arriving. think the clips are even there. Uh, this, this is the important bit. What's what's under here? Okay. Uh, oh, no. What's under there, mate? Minty Fresh. Minty oh, Fresh. Minty. How's the rear suspension then, Jeff? Uh, yeah, there is an MOT advisory for the rear arm bushes. And shocks and everything. Can I take it up the road, Jeff? Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> Paul's just nicked it. Oi! <laughs> wow! Break it! <laughs> My poor vehicle. He's gone back to a 1997 press launch, hasn't he? He's really going to. Oh, handbrake turn! <laughs> oh, okay. A few days later, Aaron turned up, claiming that he'd been a little bit more ambitious with his 1500 quid budget. Oh, wow! We're off to the races. A Range Rover. Nicely done. 1,500 quid. <laughs> yeah, look, that'll be so nice. So I need some oil then on the doors. It's fine. It's a proper Land Rover. If it closes like a barn door. So what's Sweet. wrong with it? Nothing. That's Is perfect. it moving? <laughs> Does the air suspension work? Try it. Going down. It isn't. Yeah, oh, yeah now see? It is. Perfect. Well, it goes down. Yeah. Will it go back up or are you stranded? Does it go Fresh. back up, Paul? Nice. Oh, yes. So you've got a P38 Range Rover for 1,500 quid with working air suspension. Mm. It's the only one. 84,000 miles. The V8, obviously, HSC. It's a rather pleasant colour. A high lift cabinet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they're all like this, sir. Uh, Ah, yeah. yes. There is some rust. Actually, is that moss? Yeah. Yeah, it needs a wash. It's How is it on fuel? It's the next moss. Yes. The yes. It uses fuel. Yeah. It uses fuel, yeah. You never know what you might find in the back of a Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been to the tip a few times. And it's had dogs in it as well. Tidy under here, and it's got the six CD changer and Harman Kardon stereo, which is banging. Kept me entertained for the hour drive. Six CDs? Yeah. I don't think I own six CDs. Roughly, I change the CD changer every time I uh, break down. Oh, you, you see it's HSC at the top of the range. No, that's, that's not what I was looking at. Uh, England, yeah, it's a British car. English. We're not in the European Union anymore. Uh, that's it, it's P38. Life. One other thing, weren't we supposed to be looking for cars pre-2000? Sure, and it was so, uh, introduced in 94, wasn't it? P38? So is this, is this one that was made before 2000 by minus one year? Probably sat in a field and registered for a year. <laughs> there you go, yeah, I like that. Even. <laughs> how long will it take the Peugeot to get to 60? How rusty is the Puma? And how long before the Range Rover breaks down? Well, get subscribed, stay tuned, and we'll find out.